Right, hello everyone. This is Samuel Pierce Davies and this is the first of uh, the explanations of several patches uh, that I've written in Max MSP that are designed to work um, from an algorithmic standpoint uh, to eventually combine together as a kind of all-in-one digital composer that should be able to generate and output entire finished pieces, ideally, when they're all added together. Um, now, some of the other uh, instruments or effects uh, that I've done videos of, I decided just to demonstrate with no voiceover, because that's the easiest way just to show you uh, how they do what they do. Uh, but with these, there's less to actually hear, um, so it makes more sense just to give a brief explanation of what the patches are and what they're doing and why. Um, all of this is a bit of a work in progress, but you can have some idea of how they're going to work. Now, this particular patch... Uh, it's called Choose Key and Chord. Um, it's designed to, um, if you think about trying to generate an entire piece from scratch, if we're working from a very basic standpoint, and um, we go for a, a sequence of four chords um, that can be played throughout, say, the verse and the chorus, and then other part, other elements can be randomised or um, they can be slightly algorithmically decided around that, as long as you've got some kind of base to work with, uh, as well as generating some kind of key signature. So if we go out to presentation here, uh, you can see there's lots of wonderful stuff going on here. Some of those max moments where you unlock it and you're just like, oh god, what am I looking at? Um, but it's actually fairly simple. What it's doing is it's got a, the, you know, for any given key, so let's just say we're in C for the sake of uh, simplicity, um, it's got a 50-50 chance of deciding that the first chord in a four chord sequence will be either the major, in this case C major, or the relative minor, so A minor. Um, I decided to do that just again for simplicity. In the future, once um, the whole system is up and running, this can be expanded, but for now, best to keep it fairly simple. And then what it does after there is it goes to a load of probability tables like this, um, which will then choose the next chord based on a kind of weighted probability. Now, the actual values for these. I took from a website here called Hook Theory, which has this lovely little calculator where they've taken tabs from, what's it, about 15,000 uh, popular music tracks. And let's say here you click on our first chord is C major. You click on that. And then it shows the relative probabilities that any given chord will then move to any other given chord uh, based on their database of songs. Now, again, for the sake of simplicity in my patch, I've uh, negated or I've just uh, discarded any chords that aren't basic majors or minors, basically chords one through to six, and any split chords or anything like that, I've just ignored them as well. Again, that can be expanded upon in the future. Uh, so let's say here, yeah, the most likely transition is then to G, so we click on that, and then the third chord, the most likely one, A minor, and then after that, F. So then we've got a four chord sequence, C, G, A minor, F. And here it will, all of these probability tables represent that data more or less. So when you press this bang here, if we go back to presentation mode, it's a bit easier to see, it will choose randomly a key signature and then a sequence of four chords based on the probability tables. And here, this, this is a bit of an arbitrary choice um, for the pieces that I'm looking at making. It's uh, selected as a different four chord sequence purely for the bridge, just to uh, add a little bit of interest in the middle of the song, of course. Um, so that's how this patch works, and this is intended to then output those lists for other patches to read that, that can then actually generate musical um, information based on that. So this is, um, it doesn't really do anything in isolation, but uh, it plays a very important role when you're thinking about the bigger picture. 